operations resume at Chennai Airport. Chennai Airport open for arrival and departure. In fact, water receipts from runway. Chennai Airport was shut since yesterday, but now operations, normal operations have resumed at Chennai Airport. Now the airport is open for both arrival as well as departure. The Chennai Airport now open for all arrival and departure operations. It was shut since yesterday, but now with water receding, the airport has opened up. In fact, my colleague Karishma spoke to IMD DG Dr. M. Mohapatra on a cyclone's impact on Andhra coast. Listen in. Sir, what are the precautions that need to be taken and what is the current status update as far as the cyclone is concerned? Currently, the severe cyclone storm exam is located about 40 kilometers northeast of Kavali and 80 kilometers south of Bapatla. It is moving with a speed of 12 to 13 kilometers per hour. The wind speed associated with the cyclone at present is 90 to 100 kilometers per hour, gusting to 110 kilometers per hour. With this wind speed, it will hit the coast, it will make landfall over coastal Andhra Pradesh, close to Vapatla, by noon of today. At that time also, you can expect heavy to very heavy rainfall, and some places extremely heavy rainfall, exceeding 20 centimeters. Already there has been extremely heavy rainfall in coastal Andhra Pradesh. Rainfall activity has decreased over Tamil Nadu. And, um, the storm surge of height, uh, 1 to 1 1.5 meter above storm tide also will inundate the low-lying areas of coastal Andhra Pradesh, especially the Prakasam, Bapatla, and Krishna districts. So because of this heavy rainfall and also the tidal wave, there will be flooding situations, inundations in the low-lying areas of these coastal districts. Apart from that, uh, the wind speed of 90 to 100 kilometers per hour can have the structural damage. Um, special large scale damage to the houses, uh, mod houses, um, the whole teen house or asbestos houses, operating of trees and uh, breaking of tree branches, bending of electric poles and telephone poles. There could be uh, hoardings detached from the poles, etc. It can act as a projectile. Uh, it can also have um, um, the impact on the sea. Sea condition is uh, high to very high. Therefore, fishermen, ships, etc., onshore and offshore industries also should be careful. They should not go into so, the structural sea. damage. Would be more in Andhra Pradesh uh, compared to Tamil Nadu. It will be equal in both. Yes. Places. Now there will be no structural damage in Tamil Nadu. It is away from Tamil Nadu now. It is from Chennai. It is uh, about four, 240 kilometers uh, uh, to the north northeast of Chennai. Therefore, Tamil Nadu is completely clear now from the impact of. Uh, the cyclone. So we can expect some northernmost districts uh, like Kanchipuram, etc., uh, Tiruvallur, um, uh, isolated heavy rainfall activity. Otherwise, rainfall intensity has drastically reduced and will further reduce. Mm -hmm. And wind also has drastically reduced. Now wind is about 30 to 40 kilometers per hour near Tamil Nadu coast. Sir, you're talking about uh, the landfall today at four noon. So when can we expect things to calm down and when can we expect things to uh, sort of go back to normal? Yeah. So landfall will take place. Um, um, uh, during the next three to four hours, uh, by noon it will be nearby to Bapatla. So therefore after that, I mean, after noon, the intensity will decrease as it moves across the land, interaction the land also more. So therefore um, its impact also will gradually decrease from afternoon onwards. By tonight it will weaken into a deep depression.